What's going on everyone? Today I'm doing some back roads, small town exploring. Um, I'm gonna have to do most of the talking from inside the vehicle because the wind is just crazy outside. I believe I'm in Northfield, Massachusetts. I'm not 100% sure. I was just looking at the map trying to figure out where I am. Um, so that's where we're gonna be starting. It's sort of right on the border of Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Like, right at that little T, uh, if you look at a map. So, um, let me get you, get you outside here, show you around where we're starting out. It's beautiful around here. And then uh, we'll get to exploring some uh, small towns. I think, I think we're probably just going to head up into New Hampshire from here, and then head east in uh in new hampshire and um take it from there so here at this vfw it's a vfw hall and there's some farming over there cemetery and look at the mountains through the trees over there there's a railroad crossing right there i mean this is classic small town stuff beautiful only thing that would make it more perfect is if I caught the train coming through. All right, I'm just off the side of Route 63 in Winchester, New Hampshire. And I just stumbled across something that I didn't even know these places existed anymore. So you can see right there, Northfield, entering Northfield, Massachusetts. That's where I just came from. This Northfield Drive-In Movie Theater. See you next year in 2024. So, I mean, apparently it's still in operation. to found Dartmouth College, 1770. Huh. That over there says the Dartmouth College Road. I just, I pulled over here because of the drive-in. Um, and then I just happened to see those markers and I went to go see what they said. Um, my grandfather, he served in the Navy for 30 years served in Vietnam, uh, served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. And then after he retired from the Navy, he went to work at Dartmouth College, and uh, he worked there for 10 years before he retired from, from Dartmouth College. So, interesting, unexpected tie-in for me here that I, I wasn't really planning on. All right, let's continue up. Uh, I think this, I said this is Route 63. There's also a sign that says Connecticut River Byway, whatever that is. So, uh, all right, yeah, we're just going to keep driving up Route 63 here and see what else we come across. I'm very confused right now. I'm in Hinsdale, New Hampshire, which I know I've been through Hinsdale, New Hampshire before. My one of my last back roads videos, I traveled through here on Route 119, and it says I'm on Route 119, but I don't remember this. Uh, but anyways, I just pulled over here. This, check this out. Look at these rapids. Water is overflowing. So I don't know if you can see that that bridge over there. That's I just came across that. That was Route 63, coming from North, coming from Northfield that way, which eventually led me to here. But I haven't really been paying attention to the map, so I don't know exactly where I'm heading, where I'm going. Uh, I guess I got to figure it out from here because. I don't want to repeat locations that I've been to. 
Uh, I'm gonna get, try and get a closer look here at these rapids. The water has recently been up over this wall. This is very soggy and wet what I'm standing in right now. And you can see some standing water. I think I'm gonna check the map, but I'm definitely gonna head up that way somewhere. But uh, just not 100% sure where yet. That's the direction I just came from. See, just like these old timey houses. It looks like it was probably a hotel back in the day. Not the police department. It's town hall, and uh, I just saw this sign. This is the post office. Nation's oldest continuously operating post office building since 1816. Crazy. This is a pretty cool looking old, I guess that's Victorian style house. It's a very old timey town. I don't know if you can see up there, I'll try and zoom in. See how all the houses are just like packed in right next to each other. I'm in Richmond, New Hampshire, uh, about 20, 30 minutes away from where I just was. I just wanted to cover some ground to get out of any areas that I've filmed already. Uh, just came across this little cemetery. where I was and where I'm going. This seems to be the old section here. See that one is broken off in a bunch of pieces. 1854. They all seem to be from the mid 1800s. Well, that one's 1836. Dropped in the ground in some very you, know, you just get left here, forgotten about after you know your kids or your grandkids or whatever you get them left a certain amount of time. You know, you break some you break some heart and Yeah. Just light me up and throw my dust in the air. This is interesting. I'm gonna have to look into what this is. It says Earl Howard Memorial Green Burial. So, are there people buried here and just no headstones? And it says, the concept of the green burial is dedicated to Carol Hawks. I cross back into Massachusetts. I'm in Royalston, Mass. I have been for about 10 minutes now. And uh, it's not really, it's just been a lot of this. So I guess I'll show this. So I haven't really found anything interesting to pull over and look at yet. So yeah. Royalston, Massachusetts. Still in Royalston, just on another road. It's beautiful through here. There's some nice views in certain spots of some mountains. I don't know what they are. Um, I really like how far apart the houses are. It's like one house every quarter mile or so. Alright, this is the first spot here in Royalston, Massachusetts that I found I can actually pull over. The roads are pretty pretty narrow but and there's nowhere really not much to see but it is pretty beautiful here.
I bet this would be nice to drop a kayak in. Alright, I've been driving through Royalston for the better part of 30 minutes now. And uh, it's a beautiful wooded drive. Uh, but when it comes to finding something interesting to film for a YouTube video, not so much. Until now, I just came to something uh, that seems like it might be worthwhile. Got this old bridge here that we cannot go on. Some waterfalls. But check this out back where I just was. It looks like there's some old foundations. See in there? Looks like there might have been some kind of factory or something in there. The same thing across the water. See the foundation walls? See, there's definitely something in there. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it's definitely like right there. Looks like something was built across the top of that. The water might have turn around here there's a old-timey general store that's not open and some church buildings some other buildings up the hill there I just noticed this as I was about to take off from where I just was it looks like a stone chicken maybe <laughs> I am now in Phillipston, Massachusetts, and it looks like there's some kind of waterfall out there, but uh, this is pretty much what it's been for a little while. I've never been to uh, this part of the state. I have no idea really where I am. Uh, this is out here way out here or that's how it feels anyways maybe i'm close to a city or something but um yeah all right phillipston i think next i'm going to be heading into templeton um <laughs> see what that has to offer all right i am <laughs> i am on route 68 going through phillipston massachusetts this road is absolute sh I mean, what the heck? I don't even know what the speed limit is here, but I can't go faster than 25 miles an hour or else my friggin' car is gonna fall apart. All right, I am in Gardner, Massachusetts came through Templeton, a little downtown area here it looks like. There's a fire station right there, church in the center of town. It's like, looks like an old timey uh, laundromat. try some potato chips this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end this one uh, we started in Northfield Massachusetts kind of zigzagged across the Mass New Hampshire border a little bit and here in Gardner Massachusetts now um, there wasn't a whole lot to see for a little ways through Royalston and 
Phillipston and Templeton. Um, and now I really just, uh, I gotta pee. I'm about to pee my pants and there hasn't been like any places that seem like they're open to the public or whatever. So I'm just gonna find the highway from here and head to where I'm going so I can go to the bathroom. And um, yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for uh, watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye everybody.